Boom! Thank you very much, Riv. Welcome back to the Analyst Desk for the last time today. Uh, first and foremost, picks and bans. OMG pulling out some new champions. This game was all about Moby Bear. It just, <laughs> if there was any apple pie left for TSM, Moby Bear ate it all. He just came, I think after his first base, he came back with mobility boots and a Doran's Blade, and he just, uh, he just ravaged. Yeah. People keep asking me why I keep talking about Lovelin and why is he so impressive to me. He was a support two months ago. Yes, he was a top maybe three support, th four support in the world. Now he's a top jungler in the world. He performed on Lee Sin. He performed on Aatrox. Bringing out the uh, Vala Bear, the Moby Bear, uh, he really took advantage of TSM. And I have to say TSM also lacked a lot of wards in the mid game there. So it was kind of the perfect situation for him to run around with that Moby Bear. Well, TSM to me, I mean, they didn't look like they had the as cohesive of a, of a plan coming into this game, and uh, they were taking it a little lighter, looked like both sides. But yeah, Loveland for me is really the standout player of OMG. The amount that he is able to help his lanes from the get-go is pretty extraordinary. Yeah, like just everyone on OMG played well this game. You can't deny that, but... Definitely the early game was carried by Loveland. This guy is this guy is really good. You know how in <laughs> Russia they have like the dancing bear shows? Like in China they have like the killer bear. And that's <laughs> Loveland. <laughs> Although I don't think that their bot lane uh, while still playing okay too well, I don't think they they really impressed. Oh yeah, I was about to touch on the fact that uh, Son and Koma definitely didn't play well uh, in the early game. You Everybody saw them get bullied well. around. Everybody played well and well, except these two. Well, in the early <laughs> game they didn't. Like later okay. on th later on they did their job. But uh, yeah, as they face aggressive bot lanes like Turtle and Expecial, they seem to have a lot of trouble. And the only reason that the bot lane turned around was because the killer bear showed up. You know, like early game, they got bullied around, they had to base. In fact, they got towered over at like level three. So that's, that's the power of aggressive bot lane. Yeah, I wanted to mention too, it's not just OMG that's locked a slot in the quarterfinals now. With that win, also SK Telecom T1 is there. So we, we have our quarterfinalists from this group all well, sewn up. The one thing I want to talk about, uh, uh, the last thing about this game was Cool Syndra. Now, it's a pick that we do see every now and again. It's a fringe pick. Not necessarily the fact that he played Syndra, but just how well he was in complete control of that matchup. Is it something that other teams are going to need to consider? Because, you know, we've talked about just how stacked the mid lanes were in this group A. Syndra relies a lot on synergy with, with the other champions. So we, you need lockdown for Syndra to work to get a few spells out and then pop the ultimate. Uh, Shen interacts really well. Shen taunt with the base damage of Shen. On top of that, a Cinder ulti generally is enough to take down the squishy targets. Uh, really good flash, uh, taunt flashes as well this game. Uh, he's playing really, really well on that as well. And yeah, Syndra, Syndra together with Volibear and Shen was just really sweet synergy. I think in a 1v1 matchup, Ari can still beat Syndra, to my knowledge. I might be wrong there, but I, I think that's pretty much a skill matchup with the slight edge to Ari being so mobile. Uh, but definitely, having the backup from a Shen is, is so vital when you're playing against Assassins. I, I think this game was all about Shen and Volibear. And, and Syndra, to me, is a champion where you have to be really confident in your ability to outplay your opponents. Like, the, the barrier of, of skill or whatever, if, if your opponent is Ezreal and Ari, like this game, and they're better than you, you're not going to land anything. But Cool seems so confident that he can land his skill shots. And against a Vlad and a Jarvan, too, these are all champions that are really hard to hit with skill shots. And he managed to land almost every one. Because he had lockdown though from Shen and Volibear. Yeah, he did set up a lot of his own stuns though. You had yeah, to yeah, shout yeah. out cool. It, it didn't. It, it's not like he underperformed and only got the kills when he had lockdown. He just. It all came together. In the end. Absolute ball control, some might say. And some I don't say. know about you four, but I can't believe that tomorrow is going to be the final day of the group stage. Yeah, it's been an absolute blur over the last five days. So to bring those, all of these things into focus, let's take a peek at the Group A standings heading into Saturday's games. OMG and SKT are sitting in the two top positions.